guys, this happens to me all the time. I've got a box ready to go, labeled. What it is is on the outside so I can tell, taped up, ready to go. Somebody buys more than one. Once combined shipping, let's get these boxes open in one box together so they can get out the door. I gotta get to the post office before it closes. Let's go. You guys, my trip to the post office quickly turned into something from the animal planet and it's too cute not to show you, so here it is. This blue box, this Mama Robin has made a nest right on the top and her little sweet babies are here waiting for her to bring them back some food. Poor little guys. It's about 80 degrees here in Kentucky today. And I think these guys are just uh, hanging out. The heat probably doesn't bother them. But oh my gosh, I just had to show you. The mom is waiting over here in the wings for me to leave. So I'm gonna leave from this spot, but I had to show you guys that. It was too cute not to. So you guys, I haven't done a what sold video in quite some time. So I'm gonna do a little bit lengthy of a what sold video today because I think I'm just gonna go back a little farther than I usually would if I was doing like what sold this week kind of video. So this is gonna go back over a few weeks span since I haven't done one in quite a while. So if you stay in it for the length of it, good for you. If you don't want to, I completely understand. Thank you so much for being here anyway. Of course, thank you for being here. But if you haven't been here before, my name is Danielle and I am a reseller out of Northern Kentucky and I buy things at garage sales and uh, turn around and flip them in my eBay store. So I primarily like to shop at yard sales, garage sales, things like that. But in the winter time, of course I do thrift. So, but yard sales are my favorite. Hey you guys, so we have a pretty nice day here in Kentucky. So I'm just gonna walk around outside a little bit and talk to you about what I sold while I'm taking this little stroll. It's so nice out here, so I just wanted to talk about what sold outside, but if you see me jump up and like scream, it's because I have ants in my pants or something. I'm sitting on the ground as we speak, so if I scream and jump up, just know that I'm okay. So we're gonna start out with the lot of figures that I sold. I had two packages that went out today, and the same person bought them. I had them like ready to go, pre-packaged up, for individual sale. Of course, they were both lots, but I had them ready to go individually. Somebody bought them both, so they're shipping out to the same person. I reboxed them, got them all ready to go. Those sold for the two total, uh, sold for $50. So these figural pieces came from Goodwill, and they were in a, like a big blue plastic tote. I guess they kind of market these things for like toys or laundry, but they had like two handles, big blue round, plastic tote if you know what I'm talking about this thing had tape like all the way across the top of it so I could not like look down in it to see what it was it was marked $30 and I just kind of went for it because it this thing was so deep it was like I don't know two foot deep two foot wide and I just you know seen a lot of Disney characters on the top a lot of princesses um, a lot of Snoopy and Alf and that kind of thing were in there too. Um, little critters or I think that's what they're called. I don't know. Um, so it was just a mixture. I sold more than just one lot of these. So this person is getting two of these lots and it sold for $50. My next sale is the, from the same purchase. So those little figure lots that I was talking about, I'll show you guys some close up pictures so you can see what was in there. But I had one of those lots sold for $75. So we've actually done really well on that $30 purchase. It's out of here at $75 plus shipping. So moving on with a sale for $16.99, I sold this vintage uh, Revlon Aquamarine body lotion. And this sold for $16.99, like I said, with shipping. I picked this up at Valley Thrift and I think I paid $2 for this, I'm pretty sure. Um, it could have even been a dollar, I'm not really positive. But that sold and you guys, if you ever see, you know, you really just need to comp out the vintage lotions and things. Um, vintage shampoo just I don't know I comp all of it out we've got a box lot again of the Disney characters this had Frozen and Muppets and Mario toys and peanuts in this one this one sold for $45 and it went through the global shipping program as well 
So we also sold this vintage 1990s Cromer welder's hat. What you do is wear it apparently underneath your welding helmet. And this has quite the 1990s design on it, guys. It's really cool, really fashionable when you're welding, I guess. So $42.50 on this one with shipping. I also sold a $45 rough wear stump town quilted dog jacket. So that's pretty cool for $45. I picked this up, I paid 20. So I I like to buy things really, really cheap, but I kind of went a little bit overboard, I think, whenever I saw these dog jackets. I ended up paying $20 each for um, a lot of these things. It's in a previous video if you wanna watch it, but I don't know. So far, I haven't made much back, so. We'll see what happens on those. So while the sun bakes me, I kind of wanted to show you guys these spurs that sold for $75. And these were believed to be handmade spurs. We bought these on a trip um, that we went across the country in 2019. So I'm not exactly sure how much we paid for these spurs, but they did sell for $75 plus shipping. So we're pretty happy about that. And I just wanted you guys to see this beautiful, gorgeous, purple plant that's behind me that I honestly don't know my names of plants but she's pretty I like her I also sold one of the uh, Peruvian connection sweaters that we bought at the uh, in the storage clean out that we did and this actually sold for $200 we were quite happy with that it's made of alpaca so it's an alpaca blend, so $200 plus shipping, not bad on that. I will show what the design looked like up in the picture here. And really, really happy with that $200 sale. This next sale was so cute. This little pencil sharpener sold for $35. Now, I bought this at a church sale and I, I bought it in a little bundle that I paid, oh gosh, I think I ended up paying like, did I pay $30 for everything or 40? uh that's in a previous video i can't remember but this was in a whole bunch of stuff i i bought probably 20 to 25 elephants at the same time so this little elephant sold for 35 dollars. so made most of my money back that i did spend at the church sale sold another um peruvian connection piece and it was a dress for 85 dollars. somebody paid 11 dollars to ship that that was also bought at that storage unit and Peruvian Connection is a name to look out for in clothing. I don't know a whole lot about clothing. Um, I usually sell more vintage clothing than anything, but when you stumble upon something as good as Peruvian Connection, you gotta buy it. Hit a $13.60 sale on a Tervis Tumbler replacement lid. I bought these when we went to South Carolina. Um, we went to a thrift store there and bought probably like, I don't know, like a whole bag of them for 10 bucks, I think it was. So I've slowly been selling those. So I was really happy that, that somebody bought that. For some reason, oh, okay, this, this lady had bought two of these. So there was, she paid $13.60 for two of them. So I'm sorry, that's my bad. Um, but what happened was she ended up paying $17.60 for the shipping. So I was like, how did that happen? Like, I don't know how I had that calculated, but I did give her like $8 back, I think it was. My son sold this um, $69 sale on this Discraft Brody Smith disc. It sold, like I said, for $69 with $5.60 shipping. What do you see, Lily? What's in there, boy? So I thought it would be cool to come over here and get out of the sun and into the shade and show you guys this cool tree that we have that has a hole that collects water. And it's probably going to eventually be the demise of this tree. But will he see something? In, or will he smell something, evidently? In and around this area. So who knows? So we sold this Gerber sharpening steel for $20 and $10 shipping. We bought that at the Valley Thrift and we paid $5 for that. All right, so my son sold this Laramie Super Soaker Monster Supercharger for $88.99. The buyer paid shipping on that. And we also bought that at the Valley Thrift. And I'm pretty sure that my son paid 10 bucks for that thing, if I remember right. 
I sold a photo of a lady with a beehive hairdo for $25. That was pretty cool. And a giant Crayola crayon that my son picked up for $5 at the thrift. He sold that for $25 plus shipping. We sold this Brooks Brothers dress shirt for $31 with shipping. And we bought that at the storage unit pick that we did. Um, if you go back several videos, you'll see that. And then we also sold a, from the same storage unit, we sold a Ralph Lauren uh, Polo Blue cologne spray uh, for $85. Some Joseph A. Banks underwear that sold for $10. have some Chanel mascara that sold for $20. Alfini boxer shorts that sold for $15 and we bought those in that storage unit as well. And we're down to the Pony Pals books that I bought with my cousin Frank. Um, at the library, we I paid, I think, $4 for the set, uh, $45 it sold for with shipping. Guys, that does it for my What Sold video. I hope that you guys are having some awesome sales. My sales have been slow lately, but that's okay because I'm part-time. I'm happy with any and every little sale I get. So I hope that you guys like this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I would love to have you here as a subscriber on my channel so that you can check out my next video that comes out and the next one after that and the next one after that. So yeah, that's all I got. So I'll see you next time, hopefully. Look at those gorgeous, gorgeous peonies. I call them peonies. Some people call them peonies. Look how gorgeous those girls are.